Hello, my name is Shang, a PhD student at the University of Hong Kong. Professor Lina Wang is my supervisor. It is a pleasure to give a talk in VCCA 2023. The title of my talk is Distinguishing Difficulties in Speech Understanding Due to Hearing Loss or Cognitive Decline. Hearing loss and uh, cognitive decline are highly prevalent in old adults. Over 42% of individuals with any degree of hearing loss are aged about 60, 60 years old. Mild cognitive impairment, MCI, is commonly <coughs> observed in old adults, affecting at least 80% of individuals over 65 years old. Given a high prevalence, co-occurrence of these two conditions is frequently encountered in audiology clinical practice. Early screening for both hearing and cognitive decline are crucial in order to facilitate prompt intervention and treatment. Uh, audiologists or here, healthcare professionals are well positioned to detect cognitive decline in order adults with hearing loss and referral for and referral for diagnostic evaluation. But for some old, old adults with a very poor speech understanding performance, differentiate whether speech understanding difficulties are solely due to hearing loss or partially due to cognitive decline can be challenging without conducting a cognitive, cognitive test. Otherwise, it can lead to doing repeated fine tuning with, of hearing devices without improvement of speech understanding performance. And this can also affect the effectiveness of counseling and the setting of rehabilitation programs. And conducting a standard cognitive screening test could be time consuming. For example, the popular one, uh, MOCA, Montreal Cognitive Assessment, usually takes 10 to 15 minutes. For these people with hearing loss or cognitive decline, longer time will be needed. Another big issue of conducting Cognitive test is hearing loss. Hearing loss can not only make verbal instructions difficult, but it can also, in, also impact the accuracy of test score if auto stimuli are used. Uh, most of researchers are, are familiar with the digit triplet test. Uh, it's used <coughs> three digit sequences as test stimuli and has been widely used for hearing screening. Due to its good test with test reliability, sensitivity, and specificity, um, the triplet test primarily measures bottom up speech section noise due to its smaller corpus. Usually, the first nine to 10 digits lack of linguistic and contextual information. Recently, our lab has developed a new version of the, the digit in our test, recorded integrated digit in our test, ID. It is using two to five, <coughs> two to five digit sequences as test stimuli, and the participant can be asked to repeat the digits here in forward or backward orders. The intervals of time between the digits can also be customized. Uh, in the forward IDing test uh, with two hundred millisecond interval time, test with test variability was less, less than one dB within the listeners. Additionally, high correlations were found between the ID test and the two Mandarin sentence in our test. Uh, we also found five digits SRT <coughs> was more correlated with working memory than two to four digits sequences in older adults. So we proposed using ID test to measure cognitive function and to distinguish difficulties in speech understanding due to hearing loss or cognitive decline. Uh, here's the idea of using ID for cognitive screening. The two digits SRT is primarily determined by hearing loss with a small contribution from the cognitive function. However, <coughs> sorry, as cognitive functions become more involved in the top-down speech perception, such as the two or three digits SRT with backwards response, or the five digits SRT, or the two or three SRT, digit SRT with short interval time between the digits. They are influenced by both hearing loss and the cognitive function. Therefore, the difference in SRT between com complex conditions and the two digits conditions may serve as indicators for 
community screening. The two digits SRT can serve as a baseline for bottom-up speed perception ability while the difference between the complex condition and two con digits conditions can remove the effect of hearing loss to some degree. Uh, and I, ju I just want to highlight that this test can be used not only in hearing centers, but also in like GP and any other department uh, that the healthcare professionals will face old adults with potential hearing loss or potential cognitive decline in clinical practice. Uh, then I, I would like to share a preliminary study that investigated the use of ID for cognitive screening in old adults, old hearing aid users. Uh, here we only do a comparison between the five and two digits SRT. A uh, total of <coughs> 81 participants were recruited for this study. They had a moderate to severe hearing loss. Two cognitive tests were conducted, MOCA for general cognitive function assessment and the digit span test, DST, for measuring working memory and attention. Among participants, 21 failed the MOCA MCI screening and two were unable to complete the five digits ID test, leaving a total of 79 participants for analysis. Uh, the participants were divided into two groups based on their MOCA screening results. The two groups had similar Pewton average in, in the better year. However, the group that passed MOCA screening had a higher education level and a younger age. We compared the five and two digits SRT differences among three groups, young adults, old adults who passed the MOCA and old adults who failed the MOCA. Our young adults data was from a preliminary study. A preliminary study. Interestingly, we found no significant difference in digits five and two SRT dif uh, difference between the young adults and old adults who passed the MOCA, suggesting little effect on age. However, significant differences were observed between the groups that failed MOCA and the two other groups. Additionally, we found a high correlation between the five and two digits SRT difference and the results of two cognitive function tests. The correlation coefficients were 0.6 to 0.7, quite high. We also analyzed the data to identify a cutoff point that could suggest the possibility of cognitive decline for the four row. In the graph, the red dots indicate those who failed MOCA and while the blue dots indicate who passed. We found the best cutoff point to distinguish whether participants passed MOCA is 3.15 dBSNR with high sensitivities and specificity. Um, uh, here are the conclusion of today's talk. Two digits SRT could indicate bottom-up perception ability while comparison of five digits and two digits SRT may indicate issues with cognitive function. In the, future, in the future research, we would like to explore the effects of more severe cognitive decline and the different degree and the types of hearing loss. Yes, we need more data. Additionally, I'm interested in using ID to measure different aspects of cognitive function, such as doing a comparison between the three digits SRT with forward and backward responses, which may provide insights into cognitive processing aspect. Okay, here, that's all for today's talk. Thank you.